Well, hey, welcome to another missionary adventure. We come to you this week from the west coast of Ireland. It's a rugged coast. The Atlantic Ocean is only a couple of miles away from here. And we love coming to Ireland. It's really our second time. The first time was in 2001 when we ministered in Belfast. And we always wanted to come back to the beautiful west coast. Kathy has an Irish and Scottish background, so it's exciting for her to return to Ireland as well. So where are we right now? We're at a place called Ratu, the Round Tower, Ratu. This was a Christian community, a vibrant Christian community about 1,500 years ago. We're in the northwest corner of County Kerry, near the small village of uh, Ballyduff. And so uh, all around the Irish coast, you have places like this, where Celtic Christians had communities. They built these round towers as defensive positions. Because 1,500 years ago, 1,000 years ago, the Vikings were notorious for raiding the coastal lands of Ireland. So there were all of these communities of Christians around Ireland. They would build these towers. When they would see the enemy coming, they would hide inside the tower, and generally that worked very well. While everything else was burned and pillaged, at least the people were kept safe in the tower. So a Celtic community... Um, You know, there was a book written several years ago called How the Irish Saved Western Civilization, and that is so true. A lot of people don't realize that it was actually Coptic Christian missionaries who came to Ireland around 1,500 years ago to bring the gospel. They were called the Desert Fathers. These were godly men with a missionary heart who came from Egypt, came to this area of the world, brought the gospel. We know of St. Patrick, who's the patron saint of Ireland who preached throughout this country and uh, he established along with other godly men and women because there's a strong element of of uh, female saints in the Celtic church who preach the gospel their communities were very worship and um, and discipleship focused they were known for having 24-hour prayer Uh, We're hoping in a few days to be at Bangor Abbey just outside of Belfast where for 300 years they had prayer and worship going on 24 hours a day, patterned after the tabernacle of David. They lived in community. They had discipleship. They raised up people for the focus of sending them out as missionaries. And they sent them as missionaries to very pagan places. At that time, Iceland, Faroe Islands, Shetland Islands, the Scandinavia, Northern Europe, which was all very, very pagan. People into idolatry and human sacrifice at that time. And it was the bringing of the gospel telling the story about the love of Jesus and how Jesus died on the cross for the sins of people so that they could be free on the inside and live in harmony with each other. So these Celtic Christians lived in very vibrant community at that time. And let this be an encouragement to you as well. What is God calling you to do? Be like the Celtic Christians. Be, be a person of pass, passionate worship, a person of discipleship, of placing Jesus first, a person of the Word of God, and a person who takes the gospel to his neighbors, to his community, and around the world. We want to remind you until next time that it's worth it serving Jesus. If you've never given your life to him, now is, there's no better time than now to say, Yes, Jesus I believe in you. I give my life to you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I invite you now to come and be the Lord of my life and live your life through Holy Spirit. Live it in me. God bless you. Remember to click the subscribe button, leave a comment. And until next time, God bless. Bye-bye.